like a small town. That's my goal wherever I go, and I've manifested that through this brand. So through the tools and through some planning, hopefully you'll walk away with a couple of frameworks and things you can use the next time you get that great idea. Now, you know, why are you creative on some days and not on others? <laughs> two main types of energy. There's this energy that's called catabolic energy, and there's this energy called anabolic energy. So catabolic energy is the draining energy. It feels good for a few minutes to be angry, but if you're there too long, it will literally stress out your body and you won't be able to move forward. So just take And then from an anabolic energy, this is the restorative energy. This is the energy where creation happens, it's where innovation happens, it's where you're cooperative, it's where you're collaborative. What's getting in your way from coming up with creative ideas? I we'll call that the thought swirl. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> of this, what are the things that are in your control? Is that in my control to do something about so that I can offer more space for creativity in my life? Yes. yes. In my control. Low energy. In my control? Yes. So now what I want you to do is I'm going to flip this whole situation and think about how you can take those three traits that you seem to have been successful in the past with, your accountability, building a team, and keeping them grounded to make this other dream come reality. You're welcome. <laughs> today is that you will walk out today taking a light bulb moment with you.